Hey, Tony, KD8RTT. I'm gonna do a quick little video on using the automatic antenna tuner built into the Yaesu FT450D. Um, it's really easy to use and uh, pretty basic, but um, it could be a little confusing if uh, you're a new ham or something. So I'll do a quick video on how to use it. A um, Couple notes beforehand, uh, it'll tune um, up to a three to one uh, load mismatch. So if the SWR is a three to one um, before tuning, that's the max it'll match. And uh, so it's, it's not gonna tune much, really. Uh, I kind of use it for my vertical at home. Um, it gives me a little bit more bandwidth at a little bit lower SWR, um, you know. So it kind of brings it down a little bit, um, but nothing major. But it's still useful. Could save you a lot of tuning on a dipole um, if you want. Um, it has memories that'll save the data, uh, save the, the, the settings of the tuner, basically. So when you come back, It'll quick. It'll remember quickly when you go to transmit. You don't have to tune it up every time manually with the button, which is nice. Um, but if you use a different antenna, or you know you're not using the exact same antenna, you're, it's going to change, obviously. But it's a nice feature. Um, makes it quick to use, and um, it also um, won't affect your receive um, quality at all. It, it the tuner is on the output of the uh, transmit side. So, um, you know, it's not going to change your receive quality by using the tuner. So how to use it? Well, it's really easy. There's this big tune button. To turn the tuner on, hit the tune button. So now to turn the tuner on, it'll remember the nearest memory um, to this point that you've used in the past, and it'll default to that as your transmit. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's that easy to it. Um, if you want to actually tune it up, uh, the first thing to do is make sure there's no one on the frequency you're tuning on. Um, you should slightly go off frequency so you don't tune up over anybody. I'm going to do a dummy load right now so you won't hear anything. But then um, you just hold the tune button for a second. And, oh, sorry, I'm not going to do a dummy load. I'm connected to nothing right now. It's open. So that's why that it makes that beep doesn't even try to tune anything and the antenna light will flash. So that means that the load is too far mismatched for the radio to tune. So um, that's why it's not doing it. I'll go ahead and connect my dummy load really quickly here and we'll see. All right, get to the dummy load. Sounded like I was hearing someone there. Um, so now I'll go slightly off frequency because I thought I did. All right, so now I want to tune it up. So you just hold the tune button for a second, and I'll go through this clicking procedure. And when it stops, um, that means you're tuned up. It means it's tuned the best it could. So again, it'll blink, I'll do it again. And there you go. And then you're good to go. Um, it's really that easy. The uh, tuner puts, I think it's a five watt signal to actually tune it. So that's why you can't tune up over somebody. You could blast them out. Um, it's possible, so it's something to note. But yeah, tuner's really that easy. So again, I like the tuner for what it is. Don't expect a whole lot out of it. It's a nice feature to be built into the radio, and uh, it's really easy to use. You can also interface it with external tuners. Um, I use an external manual tuner, tuner for a lot of my HF stuff, um, which I won't go into here. But you can also attach an automatic, an external automatic tuner that'll tune a wider range to this radio, and it'll also allow you to, to control it with the tune button um, and a connector on the back. So if you're interested in that, check in the manual. They've got all that described. But as far as tuning with this radio, you've got some options. So let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you later. 73.